I'm talking with Dr. Herrick Brown, who is the curator of the A.C. Moore Herbarium at the University of South Carolina. And I, you, I think of the things that y'all have there as mostly being flat and pressed mm -hmm. and stored in cabinets, but um, this is <laughs> not gonna fit in that format. No, uh, and yeah, and I like the joke that we're kind of a plant morgue. All of our specimens are laying on their backs with toe tags and stuff. Um, but yeah, this one is a, a bulky item that takes its own place in the herbarium and uh, it sort of sits near our door and a lot of times we get questions about it. A lot, most of the things in the herbarium are supposed to be like references to see what the plant really looks like in nature, yeah. but I don't think this particular plant generally looks this way. No, it doesn't. It normally would look just like a, a regular old tree. Um, it actually is an introduced species that you'll find along railroads. Um, real large compound leaves, green stems, tends to come back every year. Something called tree of heaven. Um, but uh, obviously this doesn't look like your normal tree. It looks almost like a broom or a cinnamon broom or something you'd get around the holidays. It's absolutely fascinating, mm -hmm. but what happened to make it do this? Well, the the Short answer is, I don't know. Oh. Um, but we have some guesses that it might have been some sort of trauma to the apical meristem, so that growing tip at the tip of the stem, uh -huh. which is kind of uh, supercharged with the ability to produce a new branch or a new stem or a new leaf. Yeah. Uh, something happens to that and it gets confused and it just thinks it's got multiple apical meristems. Oh. So this, the trunk, if you will, continues to grow in parallel, but it's just duplicated. Uh, this, is, this is something we call fasciation, uh, the root word being fascicle, which is like a bundle. You can see that on the eagle on the back of our quarters. Um, and uh, it's obviously not necessarily a healthiest sort of growth form for the plant because it, uh, you know, it hasn't evolved to grow in that way. Um, this little area here looks like either some insect damage or you know, whatever oh. caused that to happen uh -huh. might have uh, sort of caused it to die off in that area. So. You know, it looks like nature was trying to make one of the most fascinating sculptures in the world. Yeah. And I know this plant, I've seen it a lot of times in just trash plants. I mean, if there's a dumpster in a downtown parking lot, mm -hmm. sometimes there'll be one of these. And it could be, I think sometimes this occurs because of herbicide damage, among other things. So maybe right. somebody came along when it was little and was trying to clean up that area. Could have been Who the case. Yeah. Well, it is just too cool for school and it's it's real solid. I mean, mm -hmm. it's gonna last for a long time. It's pretty durable and like yeah. most of the specimens, we hope they last forever, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think you can um, trade this one with another herbarium or send it to them to study. They'll have to come and study it. One right of a kind, yep. Okay, <laughs> thanks so much for bringing that down. Absolutely, I enjoyed it. <laughs>